So today we're going to talk about upgrading our devices that are remote. Devices that I have many, many, many devices that are on an old version of the operating system. 0118U00. <clears throat> I need to upgrade this. I'm seeing some things that have been fixed in more recent versions, and I need to get my TC52 upgraded to the latest. And so if I look here, 0118 is a very old version. So going from 0118 to 0121 to 0123, all the way to 0130 can be a process of a stepped step process. So you see here, my next step could be going from 0118 to 21. That's a Delta update. Or there's a full package, but you see there is a size different. I want to get all the way to here, 0130, latest Oreo version. And here's a Delta update, so smaller packages. So I can do a few smaller packages, or I can do the whole full update, one gig compared to maybe 400 meg to do um, four files. So for me, I'm going to do a step process. I'm going to imagine I have a store that is uh, distant, but I have a local FTP server I can use at the store. We're going to use a few methods to get these files to the devices and updated. So you see here, I need one, two, three, four updates to get all the way to 013004 plus one more for the LG update. So that's what we'll be doing. Sending it to a local FTP server, all the files, building a profile and stage now that can be scanned or sent down through an MDM, through an XML file, and updating the device. So here I have a remote FTP server that I'm going to say is local to the store I want to update at. So actually here's my three OS update files on the server and then here is my LG patch and then this file I'll show you will create is going to actually do the install of all these in order. A UPL file. So I used a way to get these all out to my FTP server. This can be done with secure FTP as well. This can be done with HTTPS as well. Um, that is all in the stage now notes. But you see all my files are on here. And when I make my UPL file, you see this is what it looks like. So the word package, colon, and then exactly as you see it here. So these have to match. Four files are listed. That's the order that they will be installed in. So what we'll do is we'll get the files to the devices. And on your decision, or when we decide um, to do the update, the update can be done. One key thing to note is that the MDM, the launcher, whatever you have locking down your device has to allow for um, Stage Now or MX tools to be used. Um, in this process. So the key to the UPL file, which I have found out, is you do need a couple just extra blank lines below it. So that was something I found in my testing. So like I mentioned, I have the files <clears throat> excuse me, on the FTP server. Now we need to create a stage now that will Get the files from there. So let's look at this stage now config that was created. So I created a stage now profile in expert mode that has Wi-Fi and then five profile or five file manager settings. The first one being that <clears throat> I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi, but you don't need to. So we'll go to the first file manager setting. So all my file managers are going to look the same. Remember, I have an FTP server here at 1.24 and a username and password. Mine is just FTP. 
It's not SSL, it's just basic. If you go to the stage now and help, it'll tell you how to do HTTP, FTPS, um, and different methods. So I created a setting. I just called it my Delta. But here's where the most important part is. My path I'm putting the file is SD card, and this is my update. Okay, that's where my update comes. My source URI is here. FTP and important. Since I'm using a, a, a an unsecure FTP server, FTP-P, my two passwords, my address port, and then the file name. So all the files I'm sending to from the FTP to the device are going to use this same method. I like to do this in Notepad first just so I make sure I have the uh, case right, but here is exactly what's in there. And this is true for all five files. All four files are getting sent down. All Delta files, that's the FTP, and then all the others. So two through six, the only one that's going to be different is file manager six because that's sending down my UPL file. Same place, same everything. So all six will get the files. And then so um, FTP test. So in the end, if I run, if I finish it, I do stage now a PDF, you'll see the files come up and you can scan them. That's one option in the store if you're using stage now. Otherwise, we're going to export it for an MDM. So here, I can press this button, oops, export for MDM. What that's going to do is it's going to create a file, your XML, which I'll save, export successfully. Let's look at that. So this is the file, and this is what you would need to do to send it down through the MDM. What this will do, you send it down through the MDM and execute, it will take the files, it'll tell the device, get the files from the FTP, and put it on the SD card. So when you're ready to do the update, the files are on the device. You scan it. This is the Delta, basically. This is one of the, I was basically calling it a Delta update. Here's my OS update. So this is a power manager setting. This OS action, I found that this one seems to be the one that likes the UPLs. So we're going to select that. Where's my UPL? And what that's going to do is nothing else except it's going to do an OS update, it's going to run this UPL, and it's going to run through those files one by one, OS by OS, all the way to get us to LG19. So I can continue if I want to complete the profile, staging client, stage now, I can test. You'll get your barcode to scan if you want to bar scan it in the store with stage now, or we can also create the XML again by hitting this ex export button here, export for MDM. It'll ask you to save it, TC52 Delta, and then we can look at that file. So here's what it's doing. You take this XML, you send it down through your um, SODI, AirWatch, whatever MDM to execute this XML. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna execute an OS update of this UPL file that we created earlier. So in the end, at one point, the device will go out and get those files from the FTP server. You'll see it downloading all the files, and at one point, your staging will be done. If you're doing this through an MDM, uh, this will be done in the background. One by one, it'll get the files. Remember, this is locally at the store. You're not going over your WAN. The whole reason for this is you have the ability to have your files at the local store or at a just a local hub, some type of distribution on your network to where it doesn't take a bandwidth of your sending to 500, 1,000, 5,000 devices all at once over your WAN. You're telling each device, hey, pull from here. I can leverage a local POS server or anything else um, in the store to have the devices grab these files, and I'm just going to initiate the upgrade. Please note, a very big note, always test on one device before upgrading. Do not do your whole population. 
because that will get you in trouble if something has changed. So if I go here and I see TC52, I go down, here's my files, okay? Now at a predetermined time, what you can do is decide when you want to do the update. More than likely, it's something that gets done during the night. But once that gets done, it, you're going to run your UPL file and it's going to go through quite a few series of updates. Um, it'll take about five, eight minutes for it to do all three steps, 21, 23, 30, and the LG update, but it will go through them all, just as long as your MDM and launcher will allow it. And in the end after this, you'll see it'll get through and this device will be all the way on LG 19 on the 0130 OS where we need to be um, to be on the latest for um, Oreo. Thank you.